switch to um to more local news, right? The Steelers. Um, pretty big news today. Was that? Yeah, it was earlier today. I don't know. Um, depending on when you guys are listening to this, um, it is Wednesday, so early Wednesday, right? Minka Fitzpatrick of the Steelers gets signed. I think it was four years, seventy three and a half million or something Huge. like that. I absolutely love it. So important. Um, I love the player. I love Minka. I'm not sure how to feel about the deal, right? So, I, I, generally speaking, I'm like, ah, do we pay safety a lot? Like, like for example, Chicago is a, is, a, is an organization that I would never want to be. I mean, when's the last time they had a franchise quarterback? I'd argue maybe never, right? I mean, some people say, like, Sid Luckman. I don't even know who that. I think he was wearing a leather helmet, right? You know what I mean? So they haven't had a, a franchise no guy in so mask. long. Right. And they pay a lot of money to safety and linebacker, right? And we're seeing how that goes. Um, but then, again, you turn around. And so, so, like, the Broncos with Justin Simmons, um, one of their franchise safeties, really solid player. I don't think they regret the deal at all. Um, a really, really solid player kind of the anchor of the defense back there. Like, without him, there, there's young corners like Sertan and, and company, right? So he's kind of the anchor, the veteran, right? Good move for them. I think he's worth the money. I go back and forth, right? So I'm like, I, so who are the top 10 paid safeties, right? It's like Simmons uh, from the Broncos, Eddie Jackson of Chicago, like I mentioned, Buda Baker, Jimmy Ward, Jordan, or Jordan, Jesse Bates, sorry, Jesse Bates, Jordan Poyer, um, Ray Sean Jenkins, I think his name is. He's from the... From the Jaguars, I, I have a feeling they're not loving that deal, considering I've never heard of them. Um, Jamal Adams and Derwin James. Like I said, I'm not sure how to feel about that, because I think about four or five, I, go with half of them, I think are pretty happy with the deal, right? Like, I, th- I think Denver is pretty happy today. I think Arizona with Buda Baker is pretty, pretty happy. Um, he's more of a more of a stronger safety, right? A lot of tackles, tackles for loss, etc. cetera. Um, I would argue that I don't think... San Francisco hates it, but I don't think they love it either with Jimmy Ward. I think they might be stuck here in about a year or so, so we'll wait and see. I think the the Bengals are happy with Bates. I think the Bills are happy with Poyer. And I think the um, Chargers are about half happy with Derwin James. Right When he's on the field, he's terrific. Just only on the field for like nine games a year, right, on average, something like that, nine or ten games a year. When he's there, fantastic. And then you look at the other ones. Eddie Jackson with Chicago. I mean, they're not paying their quarterback anything, and they couldn't keep their other best corner, I guess their best corner, last year. This year they couldn't keep Khalil Mack or Allen Robinson. You're not paying your quarterback anything. Yeah. Nothing. You're paying it to Eddie Jackson in the secondary. He's a fine player, but are we serious? Um, like I said, I think San Francisco, in about a year, they're not going to be very happy with it. Like I said, I don't think the Jags are happy with I, – I think his name's Ray Sean. I could be totally wrong. Jenkins. Don't think they're happy with him. And I don't think Seattle's happy with, with Jamal Adams. Right? They were on a very upward trajectory. And then about two, two and a half years ago now, they go out and get Jamal Adams. And, I mean, does that look like the same team to you? They, they just lost your franchise quarterback because you couldn't pay for a left tackle because you know where your money was? Safety. One of the other top 15 paid safeties is Quandre Diggs, who's right in the same defensive backfield as Jamal Adams. Why would you pay two safeties top 15? That makes no sense to me whatsoever. None. None at all. Um, so back to Minka. Back to Minka. Like I said, I, I'm not sure exactly how to feel. Let's, let's compare some stats. So I picked who I think are the other two best safeties in football right now. Now, I'm not talking DBs in general. right? This is excluding cornerbacks and... Uh, so just safeties, right? doesn't matter strong or free, same thing, right? I mean, well, not the same thing, but... So Minka gets about 0.27 picks a game. We'll go all per game because they all played total, different, to, different total games, right? Minka about 0.7 picks a game, 5.5 um, tackles per game, 5 fumble recoveries in his career. Justin Simmons is 0.23 picks per game, about, a ta- uh, about 5 tackles a game, and only 1 recovery for his career. Buda Baker, on the other hand, doesn't have almost, he has like no picks. He's like .064 picks per game. Seven tackles a game, though. Five fumble recoveries as well. So I said, does it stack up? Uh, it's really, so if you made me choose right now, I'd probably say, yeah, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. I, I mean, I mentioned earlier, Kenny Pickett doesn't have to win shootouts anymore. Or, I mean, not anymore, but I, we expected him to have to come in and not win shootouts. Fantastic defense. TJ Watt. I think um, the addition of Miles Jack and Brian Flores and the coaching staff 
along with Devin Bush with another year under his belt, especially adding Flores to the to being able to coach him up, right? I think that the linebacking core is going to be much improved. You lose to it, but he was only playing like five games a year anyway. You still have Hayward. I mean, I think Highsmith's a good edge rusher opposite T.J. Watt. Secondary, DB-wise, right, like corner-wise, is a little shaky. So I think you have to lock up Minka. Who else is in your secondary if not? Um, so I've gone back and forth. I said that's a lot of money to pay safety. It's a lot of money to pay safety, and you keep seeing it backfire, like a lot. Right, yep. you, you see it backfire a lot. And I don't want that to be the Steelers. But like I said, who else are you going to pay in the in the defensive backfield? I mean, on the Steelers, I can't think of anybody that I would immediately go out and want to spend money on today in that in that set of DBs other than Minka. Um, he's the most productive. We've seen him change games. Uh, we've we've seen him with those timely interceptions. Did he have a lot of them this past year? No. It was a down year, and he still had. Top 10 stats. Right. And he's he's so important to the back end of that defense, almost as important, I would say maybe even equally, as a TJ Watt to the front uh, of that defense and, and the pass like the front rush. seven, right. Um, so I do like the signing. I am worried and kind of treading with caution because of, you know, the stats that we have in front of us, the visual proof that we've seen in the NFL for the last, I mean, how many years? Five to six. I mean, well, you could probably argue longer, but since we've been actually paying attention, probably like five or six. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it's not a great trend for... Um, it's not great, right? Look at all the like the big contracts. Like, they gave Adams that massive extension. And it makes ask, sense. Like, ask Seattle how they're feeling right now. Yeah. Like, he's a chandelier in a warehouse. Like, there's nobody, I mean... Yeah, I mean, at some point, it comes time to re-sign people, and you know, when, when you have the money tied up in the wrong places, uh, you're going to have to kind of budget in other things right but, um we're gonna get into the second segment here with uh our cuffman interview jay cuffman you guys are gonna love it here he is <laughs> 